Well, today is the big day, the opening of the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater in downtown Youngstown. Tonight, they are kicking off the concert season with a first look Friday. The amphitheater is more than just a spot to listen to music. The goal is to drive business and get people to the city. First News reporter Alexis Walters is live this morning at the amphitheater with how it ties in with other structures downtown, giving it a new feel. Good morning, guys. Well, I am standing downtown Youngstown this morning, where just behind me, those gates are going to start to see people filing in later tonight, filling the amphitheater and uh, sitting along the lawn there to enjoy some tunes all for free. Now, this has been a long journey getting the venue put together. The project idea, the groundbreaking, and now the long awaited opening tonight. First News has followed it all from the start. The opening of the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater means big things for downtown. The closeness of the amphitheater to the Cavelli Center and the newly lit community alley and park connecting the two is hoped to be an economic driver to move more foot traffic to downtown business and it be an overall new look as you come over the bridge into the city. This is entire 22 acre project where you have the Cavelli Center on one side, the amphitheater on the other. In between, you have a beautiful urban park. You can see the Youngstown sign that will be going in next week. Uh, we'll be finishing that up, and I think that'll be a social media and Instagram kind of hub where we're going to see pictures for the next 100 years. All right, take a look here. These are a few things you're going to want to know as you plan your first trip to the venue. First, tickets. Tonight's event, First Look Friday, that kicks off this evening is free, but it is ticketed. You can pick those tickets up at the box office, which is behind me. And after that, the uh, the ticketed and cost events, those can be picked up online or at the box office as well. Second, parking. We do have some handicapped parking that is to the right or to the left if you're looking at the amphitheater, right close to it. The rest of the parking over at the Cavelli Center, which that you can actually prepay for online as well. And then lastly, lawn space. Lots of it. People are going to be filling the lawn and with probably lots of blankets, which are always allowed. But when it comes to chairs, they need to be less than nine inches, the bottom of the chair off of the or off the ground or less. And for those national events, big high traffic concerts, those are you can uh, purchase those chairs at the venue or excuse me, rent those chairs at the venue here. Other than that, they are prohibited unless otherwise uh, uh, noted. So coming up in the next half hour, I'm going to let you guys know all the details of what type of events they're going to be holding this summer. Plus, I'm going to talk to JAC about how they are making sure this is everyone's park and amphitheater. For now, live in downtown Youngstown, Alexis Walters, First News This Morning.